A potassium deficiency is pretty characteristic as a marginal necrosis along the edges of the leaf. And this begins at the base of the plant first and then moves up the plant as the deficiency becomes progressively worse. If you weren't comfortable in diagnosing this visually, you could take a leaf sample and have it analyzed by a laboratory to confirm the deficiency. In corn, uh, we sample uh, during the vegetative growth stages the most recently uh, collared leaf. And you see here this leaf has an exposed collar, so we would sample it. Now with corn, we would probably want to get about uh, 15 to 25 leaves from throughout the affected area to constitute our sample. Uh, you'll note that this sample has some soil on it, and we don't really want to send uh, have the soil analyzed as part of the leaf. So we'd suggest uh, dirty tissue like this be washed in distilled water. Um, because we're very interested in potassium in this situation, we want to either wipe the leaf off with a little bit of distilled water or rinse it very quickly in the distilled water. Uh, potassium is easily leached from the leaf, so if we do any excessive washing, we're going to reduce the potassium level in the leaf and it's not going to give us an accurate picture of what was there to begin with. And in soybean, we usually uh, sample the most recently fully expanded leaf, which is the youngest mature leaf. And here it's often the second or third leaf down from the apex. So here you have an emerging uh, trifoliate. Here's one that's small. It's not fully, uh, fully expanded. And the next one here is pretty much full size. And then the fourth one down is about the same size. So I would choose this as the most recently fully expanded trifoliate leaf. And you would pluck it off right here at the petiole. And you'd have the three, the three leaflets as a sample. Now, in order to get a representative sample, you would want to do, get at least 25 of these clusters of leaves from throughout the affected area. So we might come to another plant here, identify the most uh, recently fully expanded leaf. Again, the th third one down, pull the cluster off, throw away the petiole, and continue until we had uh, a good handful of at least 25 of these leaf clusters. Uh, to send these into the laboratory, uh, you might air dry them overnight if, if there was a lot of moisture. They're fairly dry like they are now. Uh, just put them in a paper bag, not plastic, and ship them to the laboratory.